It's Tyrone Jackson, a wealthy investor, coming at you with another hot, hot, hot educational video. You know, one of my favorite financial educators in the marketplace right now is a woman by the name of Susie Orman. Susie Orman. Now, I love Susie Orman. I think she's great at what she does. It's absolutely fantastic that she has a show on CNBC. And she talks a lot about changing your habits and taking control of your money. And we salute Susie for that because she's really helping people change their lives, which is very similar to what I actually do in the Wealthy Investor Program, which is uh, we're going to go to the next step further. Instead of just taking control of your financial life, why don't you now start to develop some positive financial habits, just like our friend Susie Orman always talks about, and that means learning how to trade and invest in the stock market. Now, the stock market is not nearly as difficult as they would have you believe on Wall Street. In fact, I'm going to show you some ways that you can get started very, very quickly. Historically, the stock market has been a game for the rich, but the internet has changed all of that. So in the spirit of Susie Orman, uh, we're going to talk about some positive financial habits that you be can begin developing right now. The first thing you'd have to do if you want to buy stock in a company is you'd want to go to a company like TD Ameritrade and open an online account. Now, most people don't realize you can open an online account for as little as $600. And I always say, where do you get your first investment capital? How about your income tax refund? If you have some money sitting around in a mutual fund, you could do that. Um, just take $500 and open a TD Ameritrade account. Now, one of the things that comes up all the time is... You don't have to, if you have, you know, let's say $7,000, $10,000, $20,000 in a mutual fund, that's a professional managing your money. You can still let the professionals do what they do, but take a small portion and see how you do putting money to work. The object of the game when you buy a stock is to have it go higher. A place like TD Ameritrade allows you to do that. And just a little education on TD Ameritrade. TD Ameritrade is what we call a discount brokerage house. They're not going to give you any advice. They're just going to open your brokerage account much like a checking account and you will be able to have access to Wall Street. Be sure when you open your TD Ameritrade account to ask how many free trades you get. Now, why would TD Ameritrade start giving you free trades? Because they want you to get in the habit of buying and selling, and that's how they actually make commission. So what do you start? Well, those of you who've been following me on YouTube or The Wealthy Investor on Facebook, you know, I'm a huge fan of starting in the stock market small with something that you know. So every stock has its own ticker symbol, and here's a stock called PepsiCo. Now, if you know anything about Pepsi and PepsiCo, right, Pepsi is in the snack food business along with their many beverages. Now, what if you took $600 and you just said, I'm going to buy some shares of Pepsi? Most people don't realize that. You can buy just one share of Pepsi for $87.17 is what it's trading at right now. If you have $200, you could easily get 200 shares. But I want to show you, uh, in the spirit of what Susie Orman talks about, and what I want to lead you to is actually investing, putting money to work. When you become a little bit more sophisticated and you feel more comfortable investing in companies that you know, this is a five-year chart of PepsiCo, okay? Let's say, because what makes PepsiCo make money or generate revenue, as we say in Wall Street terms, is that um, they have these brands and they sell them and distribute them around the world and they generate what we call top line revenue. Then there are all their expenses, but PepsiCo's top line revenue continues to grow. And when you have revenue that continues to grow, you're going to have a stock price that goes higher. That's why trading or owning, for example, I teach people how to trade and invest, but owning shares in PepsiCo is a good long-term story because they sell their products all over the world. Now, I want to show you something. If you were a little bit more sophisticated, you'll see here on Yahoo Finance that the stock was five years ago uh, trading around $55, right? It was actually lower than that, but I never like to choose the lowest point because that's kind of cheating. Let's just say hypothetically that five years ago, you bought 100 shares in Pepsi at $55. So you have $5,500 in the stock. In less than five years, that same investment is now worth what? 
$8,700. You see, it's wonderful to talk about positive financial habits, but buying stocks and holding shares in companies that you already know is a great way to go. Now, this website is called Yahoo Finance. It's a great place to do research for free, and I love it for that. But I want to show you something. Notice that this picture is a five-year chart of PepsiCo. Now, if I scroll all down here, scroll all, all the way down to the bottom, I'm going to discover something else about PepsiCo, that it pays something called a dividend. You see this down here? And that dividend annually is $2.27 a share. Just because you're a shareholder, you get that dividend on a regular and consistent basis. You don't get it all at once. You divide that number by four. And if you go to TD Ameritrade, a dividend check shows up at your house. And what I teach my students is you really want not more income, you want more residual income coming from the stock market. But if I click right up here to where it actually says max, look at the history of the stock, right, since 1975. You see that? These little black dots represent something called a stock split. I'll deal with that in a later on video. But I just want you to see that this is a long term. If you had bought the stock down here, and look at this, this is when the stock was actually at $10 in 1990. I'm not endorsing PepsiCo, I'm just showing you how the game is played. And you held on to shares. Look at how wealthy you would be. See, stocks are assets that actually go higher. OK, so imagine if you just entered PepsiCo down here in 1990 at $10 a share. Right. There's actually been a series of splits since then. How much would your investment be worth? Would you be happy today at $87 a share? That's how easy it is to invest in the stock market. You don't need all these high flying names. You invest in names that, you know. Now, I want to talk to you about something now called co-relationships, co-relationships. So we're going to look at one of Pepsi's competitor, which is Coca-Cola. Now, Coca-Cola is also a member of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which means it's one of the top 30 stocks uh, in the United States. And in this average are nothing but companies that have established revenue. So you don't have to go off and try to make a million dollars owning some tech stock that you don't understand. You can stick with something like Coca-Cola, whose stock symbol is KO. Now, I like the five-year charts because they really tell me if I held the stock just for a little while, how well I'd be doing. Now, in the Wealthy Investor Program, we have a wonderful saying, we don't marry stocks, we only date them. Imagine if we start accumulating shares the stock has been rising here. It gave back just a little bit. And we got in at, let's say, oh, let's not even say at the bottom, right? Let's say we started accumulating shares at $30 a share. Now, could you have bought one share for 30 bucks? Yes. Where? Your income tax refund. But here's another positive habit. What happens if you open an account at TD Ameritrade, for example, and you just put $50 a month in? That would give you more buying power. OK, so let's go back to buying some shares here at thirty dollars. If we bought 100 shares at thirty dollars, right, look at the stock at thirty dollars today, it's worth forty dollars. Well, we didn't get as big of a bang for our buck down here at thirty. That's because some stocks are going to pull ahead a little bit faster, but we wouldn't have lost any money in our investment. In fact, if you really do the math, you'll probably make more money than if you actually had the money just sitting in a mutual fund. Why? Because there's that dividend again, and that dividend is $1.22. Now, if you're new to investing, you're going to say, but Tyrone, shouldn't I be owning stocks that pay the highest dividend? Well, that's another strategy that we can cover at another time. But why is owning Coca-Cola really important? See, when we're investing in a stock, even if we got shares down here at 30, we have two choices. We can just let those shares appreciate in value, right, from 30, in this case, to 40. Or we can buy more shares. And we call this in the Wealthy Investor Program, building a position. So every time the stock moves two, three, four, or five dollars, it's going to show up green in your account because the shares will have increased in value. You can actually purchase more shares in increments. What happens is building a position allows you to slowly add to your winning stocks and not your losing stocks. But we don't mind owning Coca-Cola because if we're only going to buy some when the stock actually, if we're only going to buy additional shares if the stock actually advances, then we may want to look at a company that Coca-Cola does a lot of business with, and that is 
McDonald's. McDonald's. Now look at McDonald's because this is a very fa fascinating story. And this is part of your financial education, how to buy stocks. Look at the five-year chart I'm going to pull up here in Yahoo Finance. you got to love the internet because all of this is free research. Look at the stock price of McDonald's over the same five-year period that it was doing business with Coca-Cola. Now, most people don't realize this. When you go to McDonald's, they have an exclusive deal with Coca-Cola. When you get a beverage from the fountain, the only thing that you're getting are Coke brands. Okay, So that essentially means if Coca-Cola does well, then McDonald's does well. Now... Uh, because they have something called a co-relationship. So imagine if you started buying shares of Coca-Cola and McDonald's less than five years ago at $60 a share. McDonald's shares are at 102 Now, let's talk about the difference between Pepsi. Look at its stock price. Oh, well, this is actually a max view. Let me go back to the five years. What is the difference between Pepsi's growth over five years, its stock price, Coca-Cola's growth over the last five years, and McDonald's. All right. Now, in order to understand how a company makes money, you have to understand the story and how they generate revenue. Now, that is a little bit more complex, but I'm just trying to show you, even if you invest in companies that were not technology companies, over the last five years, Pepsi, Coca-Cola and McDonald's with this co-relationship have all increased. Well, why isn't everybody doing this then, investing in the stock market? And the problem is, back to Susie Orman, not everybody has a financial education. So if you want to learn more about the stock market and you choose me as your next step as your teacher, be sure to visit thewealthyinvestor.net and sign up for our absolutely free newsletter, or you can take one of our online workshops, and it clearly will be your next step in getting a financial education.